I have an unpopular point of view for you. My unpopular point of view is that Monday Matt did nothing wrong. Before you start slamming that comment button in the thing below, which I'm more than happy for you to do, any comments or more traffic of course, I want to explain why. Monday Matt did not take down anyone's videos. YouTube took down people's videos for violating terms of service. Monday Matt may have reported that video, but one report does not trigger a video being taken down. It is the first step in a process where someone has taken issue with something someone has said. YouTube then have the video flagged because the user reported it. YouTube's algorithm checks to see if it's something that would automatically be needed to be flagged. The uh, YouTube algorithm then decides whether this is um, a blatant violation, say it can pick out a swear word or a particular racist term, and it'll then flag the video for, I believe it's human review. And then at the point of human review, it will be, I believe, reviewed two or three times according to YouTube's documentation. The video would then be taken down and the user given a community strike, or the user will be asked to fix the video and have a community strike until they fix the video. Monday Matt has never taken anybody's video down. He has reported videos because he believed they violated YouTube's terms of service. I think we've all done it at some point. I have reported videos for racism, for blatant, huge, huge violations of um, all sorts of terms of service violations. Um, the majority one I seem to have reported videos for, to be honest, is blatant misleading titles. Um, you know, you'll get a title which says, uh, so and so is doing this, and it's it's not. And there's a thumbnail of something happening. You go in the video, and it's something completely different. Now, I just I just think that's that's just spam. That's just reporting spam, spam or misleading. Now, I've only ever flagged one video for a complete blatant up re-upload of one of mine, which, considering I've got a thousand five one thousand one hundred and fifty odd videos, it's not too bad, but. Monday, Matt reported people for bullying, community guidelines violations, and re-uploading his videos. And I gotta say, the Kumite, the morning Kumite, is essentially a bullying. It is essentially the entire channel is against community terms of service. I've never reported it. I don't watch it. It's not something I'm interested in, but your entire video is picking on people and shouting at them. That's, that's kind of problematic in terms of the terms of service. Now, there's a free speech argument to be had there, but there isn't a free speech argument to be had on a private platform. If YouTube don't want bullying, harassing content, if YouTube don't want people swearing, making racist comments, and having people like JF spout their racist beliefs, then that's up to YouTube. It's not... Monday Matt has flagged people's videos. It's not Monday Matt flagging the video which has it taken down. It's YouTube reviewing his flag and then making the decision whether they want to take the video down or not. The flagging of the channel does not remove the video. The flagging of the channel does not take the video down. The flagging of the channel does not cause the community strike. YouTube's actions do that. And YouTube relies on people like Monday Matt to flag videos. Now, has Monday Matt allowed his personal views and his personal, personal gains to influence his flagging, yes. Is that wrong? Potentially. Is lying about it wrong? Definitely. Not, not going to say anything there. Lying about it? Definitely wrong. Was Monday Matt an idiot for showing you who, who he'd reported? Absolutely. But, any other words, has Monday Matt done anything wrong? No. Even though his reason has been, in terms of flagging, no. Even if his reasons have been twisted, even though what he did is slightly twisted by not... I mean, if you're going to report, report everything you see. I don't. I report the things that make me feel morally sick. And I mean, that's not very many. I've looked at mine. I think I've reported 12 videos, and of the 12 videos I've reported, six of them have been removed. And these are the grossest violations I can, I can think of. I'm not going to show anybody them, because... 
some of them are by people who you wouldn't think would make a, a gross violation. Like, there is one video I reported, um, and I didn't report it for anything, but it showed a picture of a dead body. Now, this is a video by Lauren Southern, and what she did is she did a really good documentary on the white farmers in South Africa. Now, I don't agree with her point of view, and I don't agree with a lot of point of views in the video, but that isn't why I flagged it. I flagged it because it showed an uncensored photo of a murder where a man's body was cut up. Now, I hope she removes that. I hope she removes that and fixes the video or puts an age restriction on the video. I'm not hoping the video gets removed. It's a great piece of artwork and in 20 or 30 years it will be a great piece of history showing a particular people's point of view. And it's up for other people to discuss whether the point of view is correct or not. So I don't agree with some of the points in the video, it doesn't make the video wrong. But that photo is against the terms of service. She hasn't labelled it and showing dead bodies and gruesome pictures like that is not allowed on YouTube. You see, now you've got to be very specific about what you flag something for and why you flag it. Now, I flag things because I have family members who watch this and my six year old son doesn't watch YouTube unsupervised and he only watches the kid friendly stuff with his account locked down. But I don't think that a 12 or 13 year old kid who's on YouTube who decides to click on Lauren Stuff's video deserves to see somebody dead like that. Now, it's saying my flagging and Matt's flagging are in different ballparks. He's flagging people who are bullying him. He's technically using the system, but it's not him that takes down the video. It's not him that banned somebody. It's not him that curbed somebody. It's not him that gets a community guideline strike. All of those actions are YouTube. So I don't think Matt's done anything wrong. And that's going to be tired of this video. Matt did nothing wrong, brackets almost. Because the line to you guys on the live stream, hand up, that's wrong. Flagging your videos if you've been a, if you're breaking community guidelines and bullying people, you make that choice when you made the video. That's between you and YouTube. He didn't do it, somebody else was going to. That's your, the, the, those are apples, okay? If there's a tool there and it's fair to use it, then there's a tool there. Thank you very much. And uh, please leave me a comment if you disagree. That's, that's, just, that's just a given, right? <laughs> and you don't have to subscribe. You, you, you can if you want, but the chances of you doing it are I think actually my, my subscribers represent 0.1% of my views and people who watch my channel 0.1% of them subscribe so even if you did subscribe there's like a one in a hundred thousand chance you'd ever watch a video again thanks very much please rate comment and subscribe <laughs>